If I leave you with the Dimensionator, no one will be safe. Not the Lombaxes, not my friends. I'm not going anywhere until it's destroyed. Typical Lombax. So noble, so courageous, and so very dead. Oh my gosh, it's the final boss! I am Game Guy, it's time for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, future tools of cliffhangers, I don't know. Uh, there might be destruction in there. Wow, you do a lot of damage, Guy. Uh, please don't do that. I'm just gonna shoot you now. Alright, you keep saying words, I'm just gonna keep shooting you. So, this is Tachyon, you just kinda shoot him a whole lot, and then eventually he'll die. Uh, as long as you keep moving, I guess I don't have to worry about his little, uh, weirdo spider bot things. Magnet launcher actually works on a boss? It never does. This? No. No! What, you infernal machine! Whoops! Huh. You were right. Wormhole devices are dangerous. What? Oh, come on. It's not like one of those hollow films where you think the guy's dead and suddenly... But this is a video game! No. What have you done? You ruined everything! All I did was shoot you! So screwed. And now I'm gonna shoot you some more! I'm not sure what this dimension is supposed to be, but it's kind of weird. Also, you can freaking Kragmite teleport in your silly machine. That's not weird in the slightest. I've noticed that the, uh, the magnet launcher thing seems to just do damage over time instead of actually holding you still. So I guess that's important to note. Uh, he's going to shoot out more of these guys, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Well, I don't really care. Um, oops. Probably should have jumped over that. I didn't, though. <laughs> oh, we're taking me back here? Well, fine. I can always go for a round two. Why the heck not? Um, here we go. Oh, I guess I just have to do this round again and again. I kind of forgot that there was even this round at all, actually. Uh, it kind of took me by surprise a little bit. I think maybe a possible strategy for this would be to use my weaker weapons early on and save my stronger ones for later. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, do you like being burned to a crisp, Mr. Tacky Wacky Facky Wacky Dacky? Um, you seem to like shooting lasers at me, but that's not doing a whole lot. Let's use Doom Blades. Doom Blades are always fun. I like Doom Blades. This is the final boss. I might as well go all out and just use all my weapons, because you know, why the heck not? Doom Blades are a nice, easy weapon to use. And inexplicably, we're here. Um, okay, so back to the final boss proper. Uh, jump over the shockwave attack. I don't know why I have a hard time remembering to jump over that. I really shouldn't, because it's not even that hard to do. Sure is convenient for you that there are meteors in here for you to throw at me. Sure is indeed that thing I said. Might as well go ahead and just do this. Uh, do you guys want to, like, leave me alone? I don't know what you do exactly. I wish you'd stop, though. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I probably shouldn't, because this is going to be, like, my most damaging weapon, so, you know, that. Um, what else do I got that's super good? The lightning ravage. No. <laughs> You're silly. Uh, okay. I apparently got more buzz blades. You will be reunited with him soon enough. Is that supposed to be a you're going to die kind of uh, thing? Because it wasn't very good. <laughs> I'm just saying. I have no real feasible way of using the razor claws in this fight, and that makes me sad because I like the razor claws. Um, so I'm going to give him some bees and then some missiles. We're going to negotiate a proper solution to this, uh, this problem here. Proper solutions shall be negotiated. Whoa, buddy! He keeps, like, teleporting behind me, and I kind of wish he'd stop. Here, have a tornado. I haven't given enemies a tornado in a while, so I figure now's a good time as any. Um, probably should go ahead and maybe summon Mr. Zircon for just a little bit of extra damage. 
Uh, I'll save the Groovatron for later, I think. Uh, not really something I need to use right now. But, you know, extra damage is always nice, man. It's always nice. I wasn't ready, you contemptible miscreant. Oh man, 10 billion missiles from everywhere. You can just do that, I guess. Sure, how about you dance now? I think dancing now is a good thing. Uh, Plasma Beast. Just as soon as the song is over. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Alright, there's just a bunch of freaking missiles everywhere. Let's go ahead and just use every weapon I've got. And, well, every weapon that would actually do something, I guess, more importantly. Wow, I can lock on to you something crazy. Pretty weird how that works out. Um, let's use this now, because I don't know why, actually. Probably not something I should be doing. Oh no, oh, an attack of some kind. Here, you like magnets. I'm gonna go ahead and not have a mega leech bomb, but instead use regular leech bombs, because that sounds fun. That kind of saved my life there, because I'm actually taking a fair bit of damage. This is probably the part where I die inexplicably, to be perfectly honest with you. Unless I almost accidentally use the pirate disguise, but instead do this thing. Uh, enough to kill him, maybe? Was it enough? Was it enough? <laughs> you can't kill me, Longbox. Only I know your true purpose in this galaxy. Only I know your true name. The you said I didn't have a name. Your kind will never be safe. Do you hear me? Broken. Looks like something snapped off the primary reflux coil. I believe it is missing a three and three quarters centicubit hexagonal washer. How convenient. Dimensionator, find home. Suddenly they end up on Velden. <laughs> I don't know, technically right now, home would be Kerwan, Metropolis land, but... Oh! We're Ratchet. here instead. Are you alright? Uh, where... where are we? We are home, Ratchet. Yay! We survived! Arr, what a happy arr, ending. Arr. No, 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 no! You've got it all wrong, mate! Try it again. This time from the throat. Arr. Honestly, how did you ever become the captain of anything? Once more. I've been asking that for time, five days. Add an inappropriate slur. Arr, you saucy wench. <sighs> I'm gonna need more grog. I am Tachyon, Crown Prince of the Craggy Mate. If I fear me and yeah, yeah, what not? For I will rule the universe. <laughs> Die, crack my feet! <laughs> will you two be careful? Crow's head is a microcubit away from popping off. Great impressions, by the way. Do you think he was telling the truth, Clank? About my father? About my purpose? I detected no lie in his voice, but I believe your purpose has already been filled. You vanquished Tachyon, something even the Lombaxes could not do. Thanks, Clank. Oh, sudden plot twist! Don't look at me. You said it was broken. Zoni, what are they doing here? Are these the Zoni? Let him go. It is time to understand your purpose. It is time to come with us. Yes, time to come with you. Clank!
like I said, happy ending? Aw, Dan. That's that one guy who keeps being shown as a snowman. Apparently he was like a, a, one of the lead modelers or something on a lot of the characters in the PS2 games or something. I might have gotten that horribly wrong, I don't actually know. Anyway, credits! We're done with this game! Where did Clank go? I don't know. <laughs> well, actually, I do know, but spoilers for the next game. So, uh, yeah! Not gonna lie, um, for having not played this game in a long time, there's a lot of bits about this game that I, like, I liked, but I also didn't like, like, I don't, a lot of the weapon selections weren't super great, like, the combustor was, it was fine early on, but mostly only because I didn't have a replacement for it. Like, that's kind of a thing that this series suffers with in general, is a bunch of weapons that just become useless as time goes on, and several of which that just aren't useful at all, like, freaking the Shock Ravenger, what the heck was that about? Like, it was alright, but just not super helpful in almost every case ever. So, like, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the weapon selection in this game. Uh, there's some neat weapons. I mean, the Razor Claws are great. They're just kind of situational in that, like, they're kind of hard to use without getting hit. I mean, at least until you get the Magnet Launcher, but, I mean, that makes them only good because the Magnet Launcher is good. So, you know... I don't know. Magnet Launcher's pretty cool, though, I will say that. Um... Other than that, I don't remember this game being nearly as glitchy as it was. <laughs> All the freaking boxes going flying everywhere. I probably missed several of them, either by them just being off-screen, or I just didn't notice them. So, I mean, I guess my counter might be wrong. Technically, I suppose I should have counted any single time the boxes just kind of spawned in midair, because that is kind of weird. I don't really know why they do that. But, you know. <laughs> I'm also not super a fan of the, um, the, the uh, devices system. Because a lot of the devices are kind of neat, but ultimately don't really do super well. I just realized I never actually used the, uh, the Doom Springs. <laughs> I guess I'll have to show those in an extra video. Um, yeah, like a lot of the devices, I mean, I just don't even think of using them, apparently. It's just like, the Groovatron is good, Mr. Zircon isn't terribly useful because he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um... Then stuff like the Leech Bomb, that's pretty useful whenever you need it, for like extra health and such. Confuzzler Gas ain't very useful at all, and just, I don't really remember most of the rest. So it's just like, I don't know, they're not that great, I think. The gadgets were also kind of meh. I don't know, this game is an interesting embark into the PS3 HD realm, I guess you could say. But, I don't know. I don't know. I still like the third game, Up Your Arsenal, better. Um, I'd say I would probably still like this more than Deadlock, but Deadlock, I don't know. After doing the LP of Deadlock, I have a bit more of appreciation for it, as long as I don't have to do the skill points. <laughs> anyway, um, as per usual with the Ratchet and Clank game, the credits are going on a fair bit of time. A fair bit. Um, yeah. I will say I'm not a huge fan of how they didn't really bring back a lot of the old characters. Like, several of them got mentioned throughout the game. Like, I know Al got mentioned, Ace Hardlight got mentioned, Dr. Nefarious got mentioned. I want to say there were more, but I can't remember. Like, the only ones that actually come back were Quark and Ratchet and Clank. So, like, every other character in this game is just a new character. Which, I mean, isn't terrible, it's just a little weird not seeing the usual people. Oh, I forgot about the plumber for some reason. Well, mostly because the plumber only showed up for, like, a brief moment, and then, of course, 
somehow magically gave us the th exact thing we would need at the end of the game. <laughs> I kind of like, actually, it's kind of a reoccurring trend in, like, pretty much a lot of the games, where the plumber just kind of ends up being this fourth wall, breaky, omnipotent being of sorts. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's weird. Like, because I highly doubt they even intended for that to be the case. Like, at least in the first game. I know in the second game, I think he said something along the lines of, like, right on schedule, or see you in a year, or whatever. Because the third game came out a year later, as I recall. So, I mean, that would have been... A prediction of the future! <laughs> so, I don't know. There's a lot of weird glitches associated with skill points and such in this game, too. Like, as I was looking at the information on skill points, there's a lot of things that mention, like, you want to use default skins. I never went into any of the skins, because I plan to do those in, like, an extra video, but... For some reason, apparently, if you get one of the other skins, some of the skill points just don't work. They, like, don't register. And then other times, like, the skill points just don't register for no real reason. Like, the, um... The one where I was trying to do on Fast Tune, where I had to break all the cover, like... I've, I know a lot of people have had trouble with that. I also had trouble with the Wrench Ninja one on that other city level at the beginning. Granted, that was more just because I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to use the flight pads. Which I think is kind of dumb that they limit it like that, but whatever. Because <laughs> I killed all the enemies! Just the way I got to them is what caused me to not get it. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, I don't know if I really have anything else I can talk about, I suppose. Um, Groovatron, probably my favorite weapon in this game. It's not technically a weapon, but, you know, favorite device, just because it's so wacky. It's like, the idea of making your enemies dance so that you'd freaking attack them while they're dancing, it's just, it's funny. This game does have a sense of humor. The series always kind of has. So it's pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Um. But yeah. It's kind of weird. This game ends on a, a cliffhanger of sorts. Not really sure why they decided to do it that way. I mean, yeah, obviously by doing that, they're like, Oh, we're going to have a sequel. I don't know if you guys would have figured that out. Um, but I'll be getting to that at some point in the future. Probably not anytime soon, unfortunately. I know, I know, I know. But it'll happen eventually. Uh, Kraken Time is probably one of the, uh, few games that I actually like m maybe more than the third. So, we'll see how that goes when I get there. Thanks to the patient spouses, children, parents, girlfriends, boyfriends, and pets. Yes. No penguins were harmed in the making of this game. Except for the virtual ones that don't actually exist. Because they're dead. <laughs> anyway. Uh, challenge mode! You all remember challenge mode. You didn't forget, did ya? Yeah. Uh, I, right now, am actually gonna time warp back so I can fully upgrade the rest of my weapons beforehand. That way I have a file for when, spoiler alert, LPIA comes around. But, challenge mode, you're given the option to start it now. Actually, I wonder if I select this. Probably shouldn't have selected it, to be honest. Yeah, it just starts me straight here. Darn it! No! I don't want to be in this cutscene! I want to freaking leave the cutscene! Why can't I skip the cutscene? I don't care about your stupid tailwind! I don't care about your stupid sea grids! Your stupid map gravers! Ratchets and clanks and futures and tools of destructions and everything. I don't care! I don't care! Stop it! Stop talking! Nobody even likes Captain Quark. He's green. I don't care. You're just gonna get shot by robots, and we're gonna like go save you, and you're gonna betray us for Tachyon or whatever. Stop it. You got shot almost. That's great. Well, I think this is a good enough place to stop. Uh, <laughs> stopping in the same cutscene we started the game with. 
So I guess I will see you next time for some extra videos depicting challenge mode shenanigans. What with uh, Ratchet and Clank falling to their death, but not really because they managed to do this. I will say this intro cutscene's kind of neat, but, you know, <laughs> let's say that now, as I'm just kind of completely interrupting it. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye! Kaboom! They're dead. The end.